Hey everybody, we're here at the Geronimo's kitchen. We're making us some uh, some good food in here. Just kidding. I have cooked me some some uh, hide glue. I'm gonna reconstitute it here on the stove. Hmm, that's a gonna be a tasty meatball. Hey everybody, this is Go Geronimo, and we're continuing on with the Osage Orange Sinew Back Bo Stave Bo Build. And here's the gorgeous piece of work that I am creating. Still in progress. Looking pretty good, right? What do you think? What do you think? Okay. So, um, now he said before you get to this point, you want to floor pillar it, make sure both sides are bending like they're supposed to, and it is. So, we're into that portion and I'm also going to have to rough up the back. What I'm going to use for that is a piece of saw blade uh, and some sandpaper. First sandpaper to get the varnish off that was on it uh, so that we get a really good contact with the hide glue and sinew while it dries for about 30 to 60 days. We'll see. Um, humid in Florida. So, alright, so Jesse Garcia um, usually, usually uses Type on 2 for the sinew and Type on 3 for hide glue because Type on 2 doesn't adhere to itself, neither does Type on 3. So, that's how he gets around that. And I wanted to give you that information because this is essentially a, a uh, kind of bow build um, showing how he makes Osage Orange sinew back bows. Uh, however, I am going to change just a little bit because I know how tight bond two dries. It just it just dries. It doesn't dry the same way as sinew um, high glue does. And I've taken a test, and I have a video of that. Um, uh, where I did tight bond hide glue against real hide glue. The tight bond hide glue would not pull uh, two pieces. Uh, I had two pieces of wood. It would not pull uh, into a reflex, but the regular hide glue did with the same type of wood. And so I want to get the, the biggest bang for the buck, so I'm going to go ahead and go with high glue and sinew um, because the only pullback you're going to get with tight bond 2 and sinew as far as I can guess is the sinew itself while it's drying. Um, so just wanted to let you know that's why I'm doing that. Now whatever I decide to go over the top of the sinew with I will use either tight bond 2 or 3 to get that water resistance, probably three, because it's got a better re water resistance as far as the label goes on the bottom. Uh, getting back to what we need to do first, we need to rough this up because it's got some varnish on it. You can see it still has some marker. Okay, so we need to get all of that gone. Then I'm going to go over it with a bandsaw blade, old bandsaw blade, rusted out now and everything. But it still got its, got its edge, and I'm going to scratch this up real good and create a, a lot of surface for the sinew and high glue to attach to. Yes, that's what I was going for. All right. Except for... Alright, so, sandpapered off all the varnish, don't see much of the uh, marker left, okay, and now I'm going to use the saw blade, the powerful, the mighty, the saw blade.
the first layer I'm going to put on here is just kind of a get things sticky kind of thing. You know what I mean? <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and put these gloves on. And by the way, I've got all this sinew here. that we're going to be using. So I'll just kind of throw it right here, I guess. And let's see, get the gloves on, and then I'll just kind of put a surface layer of hide glue on the top of the back of the boat. We're going to let that sit a little bit, let it get sticky. Alright, so where I left off was I put a little base coating of high glue on top of it, uh, on top of the bow stave, and I have, at uh, time being, um, made several bunches of sinew. And basically, I'll take a bunch, stick it in the high glue, let it soak in. Doesn't take very long. Grab it out. some extras and stick it on top. Then I'll flatten it out and keep on doing that till I get to the edge. Since I'm taking bunches at a time, they're already staggered, you know. Every tip's going to be just a little bit different. So if I lay one of those on top of the other, or at the edge of the other, it should cover well. Alright, so I'm going to bring you in closer and show you exactly what I'm talking about. So I flattened it. Get a new piece. We'll even put this in the interviewer. Give me a second. Go. Take this. Bam. Throw it in there. Get it wet. Pull it out. Nice and soaked. Wring it out. Throw it over next to that. Plant it down. And we'll just keep continuing that until we fill the back of the bow. Sinew dipped in glue. Hide glue. Pulled out. Ringed. Just like that. Thrown on top. Straightened, flattened out. Probably Uno Moss for this portion here. Dip. Pick up, bring out. Throw on top. And then I can show you each edge has a very tapered edge, very different. Now if I just did that same thing um, 
towards overlapping each other. All right, so if I start laying it like right here with the edges overlapping, it should uh, kind of make a really good woven integration there. Taking this, throw it in the glue, wring it out, throw it on top, flatten it out, and keep on going. Alright, and so in doing it that way, you cannot really tell where one began and the other ended. So I'm going to just continue that throughout the length of the bow. All right, so we backed the bow with sinew, and this is what it looks like. It's been curing for about four days now, and we'll let it sit for about a month at least uh, to make sure it dries as much as it needs to. It's sitting in the house because, uh, you know, Florida humidity is retarded, right? Um, but we'll be sitting and waiting to continue with those videos. In the meantime, I think I'm going to do a cigar box guitar build. I want to uh, show you this one. This was actually a kit. It was a three string cigar box or slide guitar. It is a toy pretty much but it is um, works just like a regular guitar. Sounds good. Um, and if I can do it, you can do it. So I made this neck out of Red Zapella, use some brad, oh, or not even brad, they're um, rivet nails in it for the frets. Just put them exactly where they were on the other board, uh, made the dimensions exactly the same. And I got a bone bridge here, and, and bone on this side too. And I put some ukulele stuff, but I got some guitar um, adjusters coming in the mail. I got a lot of stuff coming in the mail for this build. Um, but it, it, like I said, it's a really fun toy. You can bring it to the, you know, bring it in the car. If you're a um, Uber driver like me, you can practice. And you know I need a lot, right? So, continue watching. Click like, subscribe, share my videos. Put me on your, um, notifications when the new videos come out and I have a new channel that I do with my son it's called Tiger Show for you T Y G E R S H O W number four letter U and we open up toys and show you how fun they are it's a good channel so go ahead and look for that maybe if you have some kids that are into stuff like that send them our way and subscribe to that to see some more kooky Geronimo stuff. Alright, thanks for watching. We'll see you later. Continue on with the Osage Sinewback Bow.